the first time we met anyway so i was looking for res and i was at a queue busy finding out how can i apply for res and all of that you know ugh, such admin to look for a place to stay fine i get to this place and um there is what you call them student assistants yeah so he was a student assistant and i just asked him like who can i talk to um is this person around because i was told to speak to this person and i'm asking and i asked him hi hey i'm looking for this person is this person around and then he's like okay i'm coming back i'll i'll check if he's around or not cool waited for the nigga for 30 minutes 30 minutes while i'm standing i only 30 minutes I'm coming back from from campus i am hungry and i'm waiting for 30 minutes and this guy's not even coming back he was just busy there he didn't tell me whether he found him or he didn't whether the guy was busy or whether he wasn't and i'm like i'm hella pissed at this moment and i just left i was like i'm not doing this i left <laughs> hey guys 30 freaking minutes and he's you know what made me angry is the fact that he kept on looking at me but he didn't come and tell me Kuti, what is happening like i'm not i'm just an idiot waiting there for this guy that's just roaming around and didn't even bother to come and tell me if the guy that i'm looking for is there or not anyway luckily i got the place i got the place because i went to campus and i'm like guys no i need a place to stay like there's this place accommodation that is available and make things happen you know and yes luckily they're dead and then i got the place fine um i think a few weeks if not a month of staying there and then my friend and i we decided to go we were going to her place yeah we we're going to a place and then i didn't have wait what actually happened but i know that we wanted to taxify and i didn't have data i think and my friend didn't have data i think the wi-fi was off on that day we were staying and then i saw him the guy that suddenly ignored me for 30 minutes long yes him i saw him and i was like hi he's like hey i'm like do you perhaps have taxi on your phone and then he was like yes i do i'm like can i use it and then he was like yeah and then i took wait you know when you when you're talking to someone you like you just want to ask whatever you're asking you're not really you're not really looking at this person but then something was like look at this guy man and i was like oh 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 hi oh oh you're cute and the first the first day we met when i asked him to go look for the guy i didn't really look at him because i just coming from campus i was just tired and i just wanted to see this person and he was pissing me off because he was doing whatever he was doing i don't even care anymore so i didn't look at him but now i'm i'm, I'm like how come i'm I didn't I didn't notice you you, you look like that. So, um, 
Nah, he's hella cute. Like, he's hella cute. And then, yes, he taxified. And then the guy called. He was like, I'm outside. Where, where are you guys? And then I had given him the phone. So he just told me that, oh, the guy is saying that, the driver is saying that he's outside. He's waiting on you guys. So I was like, okay, thank you. Me being me. Me being forward, me being the girl that goes after what she wants. That is me. I asked the driver, I was like, oh, driver, do you have the number that you just called us from? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, um, can you please send it to me? The driver didn't even ask. Like, he didn't even ask what he, why. And he just gave me the number and I was like, <laughs> I have his number now. And then I, I messaged him. I was like, oh, hey, it's Ashume. Thank you for um, taxifying for us. You really helped a lot. And he was shocked. He's like, did you get this number from the driver? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, how did you get it? I just asked the driver if I could have the number. And he gave me the number. Simple as that. And suddenly this guy is like, he starts texting me he's like have you guys arrived are you guys safe what about i'm like okay okay you're checking up on me now i see you bo i i definitely see you so i think a few days passed and then he asked me like where are you and i'm like I'm at Rez. And he's like, can I see you? I'm like, wait, wait, what? What is my wish coming true? Because I see I saw him see me see him and he saw me too. So why not? And at that point I didn't really know much about him. The only thing I knew was the fact that he's my type. That's the only thing I knew and the only thing I cared about. And he was giving me the attention that I wanted. So I was like, <laughs> okay, let's do this, boy. And then we started spending like a lot of time together. Like, so we spent time, time together. And then I spoke to one of my friends about him. And my friend knew him. And I was already deep, deep, yeah, in terms of feelings and all of that. He, ugh, you guys know, when someone gives you the attention that you want, the daily dose of attention, and we, we vibe. I mean, it's always a good time. We're always laughing, and we're spending a lot of time. You catch feelings. I mean, you catch feelings. So I caught. And then my friend is telling me that, oh, Ban Ban has a girlfriend. I'm like, what? He has a girlfriend, but he never mentioned anything. But then again, I never asked. <laughs> Yo, guys. Like, I never asked. But I just assumed because, I mean, everything was just easy going. Whenever I wanted to see him, I'd see him. So I'd never really assume Guti, this nigga has a girlfriend. Because when I want to see him, he's there. We're always talking on the phone. Like, it was it was like that. And now that he has a girlfriend, I'm like... What? What do we do now? Because I'm deep within. And I don't want to disrespect the girl. I wouldn't want some girl busy crying or having boyfriend problems because of me. Like, I, I, I don't want to be in a situation like that. I always subtract myself from such situations. So I'm like, hey, well, boy, like, why didn't you tell me? I know I didn't ask, but at least tell me, Guti, no, we can't be like this. But yeah. You think a guy will do that? You think guys will do that? Hmm? Think again. So, 
I asked him, I was like, is there anyone that you sing? And then he was like, yeah, I do have a girlfriend. I'm like, um, I think you might have, um, I missed out that part. Like you didn't tell me that you have a girlfriend. He's like, no, I didn't think it was a big issue. You did not think it was a big issue to tell me that you have a girlfriend and I am here falling for you. I tried to keep my cool. I actually kept my cool. I was like, hey. And then, and then, and then he started coming with all these things. But no, she was just giving me problems. And, um,. I don't know they're not yeah they just have problems and you know, he was happy with me because he just forget and would be like in the moment we would laugh and you know he was just happy when he's around me <laughs> hey my <laughs> yo my daughter guys yo, yo, yo. <laughs> and i was like i honestly didn't know how to feel about the whole situation I was like, how you need guys? And at that point, I really, really liked him. So I'm like, what am I going to do? So I, I started ignoring him. I was like, I, do, I don't want to be in this situation. Like, I'm not going to entertain him. You know, I, I'm, I'm just not going to bother. And then he started like, and then this one day he came to my room. He knocked. I'm like, who is it? I always do that. Like, I, ju I don't just open for no one. Unless, if you tell me, people are weird. They'll tell you it's me. Who's me? I don't open for you. Like, even my neighbors, whoever, they know. If I ask, who is it? And you do not tell me your name, I'm not going to open for you. My music will be dead as loud you will know i'm inside my room but i'm not gonna open for you if you don't tell me who you are so he's like i'm gonna call him taxify it's taxify so i'm like what do you want why are you here why so i'm like okay i'm coming and then woo, when i saw him all the feelings and all the emotions and everything started coming back because <sighs> your guys will be the death of the school and then like everything when when i saw him clearly i missed him and then He's a sweet talker, like he's 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 a sweet talker, and he was uh, just telling me all this, like oh I missed you and wada 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 wada. Whenever whenever I would, I asked about the girlfriend, be like no I don't want to talk about her. This is just me and you, you know. <laughs> Coming to think of it, like aini guys, aini ama. The other gender, <laughs> the other gender is dangerous, guys. So, we, we, like, it was a vibe, man, okay, yeah, the rest is history. I'm not going to go into details, but the rest is history. And then, randomly, Jay, oh, I don't know who, the other friend showed me who the girl is. He's like, there's the girlfriend. And I and I I didn't really pay much attention to her. I was like, oh, okay, okay. And then there was this one day, she just stared at me. Like she stared. She just stood there and stared at me. And I was like, what? You know when someone's looking at you and you're like, trying to see if they're really looking at you and the person is like looking at you she was like okay yeah like i was thinking of a lot of things but oh does she know me did he tell her about me hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. i was like what is happening and then i i i, I you see 
when I see something, I'm, I'm this person. If something is going on that I'm not sure about or I'm not comfortable about, I will ask. Say, for instance, you do something to me and I don't like it. I will tell you. Like, I am very vocal. And I think people around me, they know that about me. So I asked him, Ma, what's up with the girl? Does she, does she know me? And then um, he was like, she read our messages. I was like, oh, so she knows me. So she knows me. And yo, I care. After that, every time, because I mean, we live in the same building. So every time she she walked past me, she'd look at me with like those eyes like bitch. And I, I totally understand. Like, I totally understand. And at that point, I was single as hell. Like, I was single, was not seeing anyone besides him. So, yeah. I'm not going to say it like I didn't care. But I was just going with the flow. Like, let me be honest. I'm not going to try to act, oh, holy, whatever. I was just going with the flow. Like, I was, I liked the guy a lot. And he was giving me attention. He was spending more time with me than anyone. So, that's all that mattered, to be honest. Like, I'm not going to lie. And this one day, <laughs> you this one day my parents came and then she was walking she stood there and watched me get inside the car and watched the car leave she was standing like this watching me i got inside the car and then we left and then i'm just looking at her like As the car drives, I'm looking at it like. <laughs> and then um, he messaged me that, oh yes. So the reason why, because I, 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 was, I was telling him everything that she was doing because, I mean, it was just weird. Like, you know those like stalker psycho vibes? That is what, that's the energy she was giving me. And I was telling him and then he's like, oh no, she's just jealous of you. And dun 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 like, and I was like, like, I would, I think about it and be like, no, man, no, this, this is not right. Like deep down, I knew what I was doing it was not right. The fact that I was entertaining a guy while the guy has a girlfriend. Initially, I didn't obviously know that I had a girlfriend. I think we spent, I can't, I can't say we were together. But we were seeing each other for two months before I knew about the girl. So already then there was feelings and there was everything. So it was not easy for me to just like let everything just slide. And then this guy just randomly just tells me that I'm too dangerous for him. <laughs> you? Oh, guys. I'm like, what? He's like, no, I think you are. You're too dangerous for me. You, hey man, he, he, he was just, he was just saying all these weird things. I'm like, dude, we are not dating. So if you want us to stop, then just say so. Don't come with these things of you are so poisonous. You are deadly. You are dangerous. You are. That's my darling, guys. Like, what the hell? And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep my distance. You keep your distance. And yeah. And then now I started hearing things from his friends. So now the nigga's talking about me to his friends saying, good team, we having a thing and he likes me and he wants to break up with the girl um, for me. And dun, 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 dun. I'm, I'm, I'm like hearing these things from people. And these people, I didn't talk to them, but I was just hearing things because there was like a mutual friend and yeah so i'm like why is he telling other people because this thing was supposed to be between us now his friends know that we had a thing and blah 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 like don't get let man it's involving a lot of people and obviously the girlfriend's friends 
they also going to talk because I realized that when there was like just random girls just looking at me, pointing at me and all of that. And now I just stayed in my room always. Like I'm that person. I'm always in my room. If when you want me, you will find me in my room. I am that person. If I'm not in my room, I'm at home or somewhere. But address, I'm always in my room. So yeah, they started pointing at me and you know girls man just giving me advice girls are always like that they, if they hear about something and then they start pointing but nah, nah, nah. Dun, 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 dun. look at her there she is so it was that and i told him listen i'm not comfortable with everything that is happening whatever let's just stop with everything let's just stop and apparently that's when he caught when i told him we should stop everything that's where he he was like really 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 into me and then nigga sent me a a, a mursa message <sighs> but this is not how i wanted things to end i really do like you and i, I even um, broke up with my girl uh, just because i wanted to be with you i really saw a future with you <laughs> Yo, guys, and I was like, okay, so what? But yeah, guys, like, I, I really didn't like the situation uh, because now people just looking at me like some type of way, like a home wrecker, which I was technically at first i didn't but then i knew and then yeah but as soon as i knew about the goal just everything just became uneasy man and now I'm, I, I just put myself in her shoes and i'm like no i wouldn't want this for someone else so why am i doing it but guys in london when me why are you <laughs> but yeah but guys don't ruin people's relationships that is my message to you stay beautiful stay blessed and yeah so the reason why i'm telling this story is because the nigga reminded me or he sent me a message longest message that he really really liked me and they're not together with the girlfriend because after me there was just problems and problems and problems and i was one of the problems and yeah but i'm like okay but we're cool man like i feel like we're cool on my side we're cool i don't know about him but we are good i just hope you guys enjoyed that story it was not much but i've been in entanglements and they are very they're exciting you know <laughs> it is a relationship as be or whatever situation who wanna go see my man it's it's nice it's it's, it's nice it's exciting there's adrenaline there's but yeah guys i wouldn't advocate for the situation in Chalo, but it's fun hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a video from me